Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Rival Extreme here, and here we are on the 14th of May, again, 2024, for actually a new mod. So now, Giants has fixed the downloading issues for the Lizard NTG and that, or Scania NTG South America. Also, we'll be looking at the widespread vehicle system, Surrey Spreader, so we'll look at that in a sec. But first of all, so... We're going to be looking at this, so this is the Lizards NTG South America. This is by Eric Agzak and AgriMods. It is 44.08 megabytes to download, slot count is 23 goes down to, I'm assuming one, we'll look at that in a sec. So yeah, this is a common truck that has used in South America, and it's got a plethora of configuration options, both normal and some unrealistic options, so... You'll find these under vehicles, under trucks. Go to the end. Base price 135 grand. Starts off at 420 horsepower. Over a thousand liters of fuel. Top speed is 74 miles an hour. 12.1 tons, and yeah, it goes down to one after purchasing. So yeah, for your chassis, so you got a 4x2 chassis, 6x2, 6x4, 8x2, 4x4, 8x4, 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 
Got the blue fun edition. You got the Road to Heroes, 65 years anniversary, and back to none. Mud flaps and that, so back of the tires and that, so none. Large mud flaps or back to standards. Now your glass colour, so you got clear or dark gloss. Now for your headlights and sun visor, so you got standard, painted headlights, original sun visor, painted headlights and sun visor, and back to standards. Now for your cabin decals, you got none, super logo, so a little bits on the front and that. Got your front grille details, super logo and front grille details. Or none. So yes, add a little bit of polish. Radio antenna, so none. One left, one right, one at the rear, or all of them. So you have all three. Now for your color options. So interior, so you got beige, special, red. Then you got your pinks, blue, yellows, oranges, and green. So. The special changes of the seats. Main colour, all the colours available, red, greens and pinks, and got chromed, matte, plastic paint, bright and just normal. So go with a hot pink bright. So that changes the cab and the bumpers and that and fuel tank covers and that. Side fender panel, so let's go with a blue. So that just changes those on site. Rear fender, go with green, changes to rear fenders. Front grille, so if you come to here, let's pick a blue. So I'll change that. And then lastly, your rim colours, which is typical standards, like so. So yeah, that's the configurations. Let's turn this on. So, open my help menu, horn, lights, indicators, like so. Oh, I love the LEDs at the back. In cab, not too bad. And have your lights on, turns on the in cab lights. And where are the lights on the pedal? Oh no, oh no, I saw the pedal for, I was to pedal first of all, so L1, R1, nothing, so L1, so L1 next, that will lift the axle, so that's that front axle there, as seen, that, see, air suspension air, very nice, so, go with a proper Sam, Sam lorry vibes in the way. Or back to standard like that. Then you got your seats and steering. So L1. So right stick left to right raises and lowers seats, and up and down brings your seat forward and back. Then R1 right stick left to right tilt the steering, and like so. So you can probably have full adjustments there. That I like, so do that. I'll go super close, like so. And then you got your windows. L1 left stick, oh sorry, L1 right stick up and down is the right window. And then R1 right stick up and down raises and lowers the windows at the back. Now for the spoiler, so outside. I don't think we've got it on here, but if we go to the other lorry. There we go, see, so R1, right stick up and down, brings that foil up, and then up goes down. Then L1, R1, nothing, L1, nothing, and back to the chassis suspension, so our engine. And yes, overall it's not too bad actually. Very capable that. Yeah, 
Unless something goes right. Now to test this against 54 fouls on the Urza line. Now I do have the standard version over there as well, so we'll give both a good test. So let's go pull it. I'm actually in cab as well, you can see the mirrors and that. Which is good seeing that, it's got good reflections and that, no glitchiness. Eventually I'll get up to speed that, that's very decent. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, just be careful when you're steering there. I do like how the tennis just goes all floppy in that. Now for the standard version. So back this up. See how this handles, so 400 horsepower or 420 against 59,000 litres, not 54, 59,000 litres of light. And yeah, it's just about able to push in that or pull it in that. I can see on heels, this will struggle, so. But yeah, it's good little test now, I like to do now. Test the suspension, test the handling in that. Slot's pretty much on the dime. So yeah, overall, not too bad actually. Like that very much. So that is the Lizard NTG South America or Scania version by Eric Isaac and AgriMods. Next. Now we got the WSVS or Wide Span Vehicle System Sorry Spreader. This is by Dogface and BDB SSB. Of course, it is a required mod for this, so it's the Wide Span Vehicle System, which is expected because nothing else would. I say that nothing else would go on this, but I can guarantee. Attach that onto a combine. We'll test that in, later on, actually, but. Anyway, so base is a sorry spread on that. Recommend for all 30 meters, cost 65 grand, 24 and a half thousand liters. Slot count is 14 and is 18.47 megabytes to download. So you find this under tools and sorry tanks. Go to the end. And yeah, main color option. So typical with this vehicle system, a few custom color palettes and your base color palettes. Now your design colour would change the brackets on the back. And as a word of warning, this was a bit of a pain in the ass to get on, so let me detach this a sec, so I should only need to burn me a sec. Whilst I get this not a lot about well, not connected and so yeah. You'll need to drive forward like so. And yeah. Okay, now it seems to be working fine, was it? I was having issues with steering that. So, let's say, try to position yourself. Alright, so now, okay, on camera. Oh god, this is embarrassing. I was like, this was a like proper finag then. Part of it was because I was like, having some weird steering issues with this. So, go forward. Okay, alright, so. Actually, that may be on my part with a maybe a floppy joystick and that, or drifting joystick and that. But yeah, get aligned. Bit of a finagle on that, but eventually you can wiggle it together. Of course, there's better ways of doing it than that. So yeah, 24 and a half hours in the years. Fills up relatively quickly in that. Yeah, let's head over here. So yeah, to put the Surrey spreader down, so first of all you need to press L1 and X to unfold. Then lower because this is what caused me issues. Try to turn it on, it says, oh you need to fold up the Surrey distributor. And I guarantee about 10, 20 minutes I'll spend on figuring out how this bloody thing worked. And press circle on the PlayStation controller to Lower the implement and then turn it on. So L1 and X. And now we're underway. 
apply in Surrey. Oh, of course, I got position from on, so double application rates and that may apply elsewhere now if you're not using position farming. But yes, turn it off. Head into our recently harvest field. And yeah, put down an application just for X amount. Yeah, it seems to do it well. And we're coming to hard on a worker now, so we'll put this on a worker. That's going to get to the end. And it will manage to find that turn around, so it'll raise up. It'll turn on the pivot. And that's what I like about this, view, this system and that, so. Now it's going to reverse. Of course, even if you're doing this manually, it's going to be just as finicky in that, but that comes with this system and that, so that's going to align itself. Perfect. Lower down. And there it goes. See, so overall. Let's go here we go. See, so oh. Okay, lower it, turn it back on. But yeah, that's how you get that to work. So if you're like me here, figure out how in the heck does this thing work. Uh, yeah, that's how we need to lower the implements. And yeah, the fixing of the joystick issue seems to be fine now. So, because yeah, like, first of all, it's like, just go forward in that. And if you call it, go like, slightly if you left in that. But I didn't see the steering wheel, or we'll see the steering moving, so... I think that may be an issue on my end, I'll admit to that. But yeah, overall, a cracking bit of kit. And now, so... Fold this, and detach. I want to do a bit of a stupid test with this, because... Oh no. Keep you like that. Because, obviously we know, this really like, attaches to... Combine. Oh no, no, sorry, no, it doesn't. It attaches the, to the platform, doesn't it? So let's go to my mods a sec. Ah, uh, yeah, that attaches to that, so. Now, nah, I was thinking, oh, attach a horror nap to it. But no, you can't. No. That's me on my, my part, and yeah. Again, no issues attaching, so. You should have no issues whatsoever with this mod. So yep, yeah, oh, that is all of the actual new mods for today, so in our third or fourth video of the day, so because yeah, now I'll upload the map tornat. Get this uploaded, and yep, yeah, that'll be four videos today, so anyways, that is the actual mod reviews. All the mods for the 14th of May 2024. And if you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice today. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.